After being drafted almost two years ago by the Celtics, and through two months of on and off again negotiations, at times quite bitter between two old adversaries, Red Arback and attorney Bob Wolf, Larry Bird became a very rich young man this morning. A 6'9 All-America from Indiana State signed a five-year contract worth more than $3 million, and with that, he's expected to help turn around the Celtic franchise, which has fallen on hard times in recent years. I guarantee you, I'll give 100% every time I come out. And if I get a torn toenail or something, I won't sit out. I'll play as hard as I can every night. And I hope I can bring excitement to the fans, and I'll never give up. Larry, was it important to you to come in uh, with a better contract than Magic Johnson? Well, you know, I don't even know what Magic Johnson's contract is. I never even seen it, never heard of it. I just go by what I hear, and, and you don't do that. You, you go by what you see, and uh, it wasn't really important. I know how good he is, and I just wanted a fair contract for myself. And I just didn't know what I wanted. I just told Mr. Wolf to go out and give me what best possible contract he could possibly get. And I think he done very well. You looking forward to meeting up again with him uh, with the, against the Lakers and maybe getting a little revenge? Uh, from, from well, Michigan I State. wish I could play him today. With the comings and goings of John Y. Brown and Marvin Barnes, the coaching changes and player descent of this past year, plus the infamous Bob McAdoo trade for three first-round picks, Bird is a breath of fresh air for the Celtic franchise, and our backing coach Bill Fitch are lavish in their praise. Here's the guy who can do the shooting, play the defense, and above all, he's a passer. He's got great hands. This bird's no turkey, and uh, that's what he's trying to prove. And how does the native of French Lake, Indiana, feel about becoming the richest rookie in pro sports history? I forgot to tell Mr. Allback, but I would have played for nothing. <laughs> Roger Twibell, TV4 Sports, Boston Garden. Chosen by the legendary Boston Celtics to be the savior of their proud tradition. Everything's starting to fall into place. I hope you all realize this. We got Larry, one or two little moves, and we're ready to go. Well, I'll tell you, that was about it enthusiastic and heartwarming a welcome as I've ever heard uh, a Boston Celtic uh, team get to start a season. You know, uh, it's just like saying, welcome home, friends. It's been a while since we saw you. <laughs> well, it has. It's been since April, the early part of it. But better yet, they are welcoming this ball club with all kinds of anticipation and hope, and they're coming out on the floor now. All right. It'll be Malone and Collins on the jump. And yeah, we're ready to start the 1979-80 season. Chris Ford hit the league's first ever three-point shot, changing the game of basketball forever. <laughs> 